Milk is everywhere. Every year, the world consumes over 11 million tons of powdered milk. Hey, girlfriend, how's your cafe au lait? Oh, it's actually... It's... Okay, can we... I'm being so serious right now. I really want to know how your coffee is. With China alone using 1.7 million tons. It's in your coffee, your cereal, your desserts. But have you ever looked at a bag of powdered milk and wondered, how does fresh liquid milk turn into this fine, dry powder? It might seem like magic, but it's a carefully designed process that happens inside massive factories. From dairy farms to high-tech machines, here at The Process World, we'll break down how milk is transformed into powder that stays on shelves for months. Let's get started. Milk has been a daily essential for centuries, but keeping it fresh was once a major challenge. In 1802, French chemist Francis Nicholas Apert discovered that drying milk made it last much longer, which was a game changer for soldiers and people in remote areas. By the early 20th century, powdered milk was being produced on a large scale, becoming a staple in homes and food industries. Today, millions of tons are made every year, making dairy accessible anywhere without the need for refrigeration. And it all begins with the dairy farms, where fresh milk is collected before heading to high-tech processing plants. Let's take a look inside. But before we get into that, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this one. Now, moving on. Milk powder starts long before it reaches the factory. It begins on dairy farms where cows are raised, fed, and milked under carefully controlled conditions. Everything from what the cow eats to their treatment determines the quality of the milk. To generate premium milk, cows must have a diet strong in nutrients. Along with the nutrients and proteins to keep them healthy, farmers feed them hay, grass, and grains. Since many farms keep silage, fermented grass, or corn, the cows have food all year long. A well-fed cow may generate roughly 38 liters of milk every day and sip up to 200 liters of water. Automated machinery built to be gentle and effective handle milking. The cows enter a milking parlor where soft rubber cups are fastened to their udders. By producing a mild vacuum, these cups enable the milk to pass via sterile tubes into storage tanks. Every session runs seven minutes or so. To guarantee perfect operation, the devices stop automatically after the cow is completely milked. One first concern is hygiene. To maintain hygienic conditions, flooring in the milking area is scrubbed both before and after every session, and the milking equipment is cleaned. Many farms additionally track cow health by using electronic ID tags, therefore ensuring that every one of them is delivering good quality milk. Once the milking is done, the fresh milk is pumped into refrigerated tanks to keep it cool. It's now ready to be transported to the factory, where the transformation into powder begins. The first step in processing is pasteurization. This is a crucial stage where the milk is heated to kill harmful bacteria while keeping its nutrients intact. Without pasteurization, milk would spoil quickly and could carry bacteria that make it unsafe to drink. The process begins as milk is pumped through stainless steel pipes into a heat exchanger. The machine rapidly heats the milk to 72 degrees Celsius and holds it at that temperature for 15 seconds. That short burst of heat is enough to destroy 99% of the bacteria, making it safe for longer storage. The next step is just as important. As soon as the 15 seconds are up, the milk is rapidly cooled down to 4 degrees Celsius. This sudden drop in temperature stops any remaining bacteria from multiplying and keeps the milk fresh. This method, known as high temperature, short time pasteurization, is widely used because it keeps the milk's natural flavor and nutrients while making it safe for consumption. Once the milk is pasteurized, it moves to the next stage, separating the fat to prepare it for drying. Whole milk naturally contains fat, proteins, and minerals, all mixed together in liquid form. To separate them, the milk moves into a centrifugal separator, a machine that spins at an incredibly high 7,000 revolutions per minute. Inside the separator, thin metal discs rotate at a high speed, creating a force that pushes the heavier parts of the milk outward while the lighter parts move toward the center. Since skimmed milk is denser than cream, the fat rises to the middle where it can be extracted, while the skimmed milk flows to the outer edges. 
This process happens continuously with thousands of liters of milk being processed every hour. Skimmed milk is the main ingredient for powdered milk production because it contains all the essential nutrients while being more stable for long-term storage. The separated cream doesn't go to waste. It's collected and sent for use in butter, cheese, and other dairy products. Once the milk has been fully skimmed, it's ready for the next major step, removing water to turn it into a concentrated form. Since fresh milk is about 87% water, reducing that amount is key to turning it into powder. Inside industrial evaporators, this occurs at low pressure under careful heating of the milk. The milk passes through heated surfaces in a sequence of tall stainless steel chambers. The decreased pressure inside the evaporator lets water convert to steam at far lower temperatures than boiling in a conventional pot. This increases the process's high efficiency while shielding the milk from overheating. Just the water content is eliminated when the steam rises, leaving behind a thicker, more concentrated milk. About 80% of the water is eliminated in this stage, therefore substantially lowering the milk's volume while preserving its lactose, minerals, and proteins. Not wasted either is the steam. It's gathered, compressed back into water, then used to cut manufacturing energy use. At this point, the milk is no longer a thin liquid. It has a dense, creamy texture, almost like condensed milk. But it's not powder yet. The final step is spray drying, where this thickened milk will be turned into a fine dry powder that can last for months without spoiling. At this stage, high pressure nozzles first spray the concentrated milk into the tower in small droplet form. Released into a stream of heated air at 220 degrees Celsius, these droplets rapidly evaporate the last of the water. The moisture vanishes practically instantaneously since the droplets are so tiny, leaving behind fine dry milk particles. Gradually descending to the bottom of the chamber, the powder is gathered and cooled. It is light, dry, and has a fine texture at this point. One more step will help increase its usability. Soy lectin is added to guarantee it melts easily when combined with water. This component helps avoid clumping, therefore simplifying the use of powdered milk in beverages, baked products, and other recipes. Now that the milk has been transformed into a fine powder, the next step is packaging, which plays a huge role in keeping it fresh and safe. Since powdered milk can easily absorb moisture from the air, it needs to be sealed properly to prevent clumping and spoilage. First, cooling the powder helps to ensure that there's no condensation that accumulates during packaging. It then passes through an automated filling facility, where each package's exact need is measured by machines. Depending on where the good will be marketed, this can show up as airtight bags, cans, or vacuum-sealed pouches. To extend its shelf life, some packages even go through nitrogen flushing. This process replaces oxygen inside the package with nitrogen gas, which helps prevent oxidization and keeps the powder fresh for longer. Without this step, the powder could lose quality faster due to air exposure. Once the packaging is sealed, labels are printed with nutritional information, expiration date, and batch numbers. Each batch is checked to make sure that it meets safety standards before it's sent out for distribution. From here, the packaged milk powder is ready to be stored, transported, and sold in markets worldwide. And that's how fresh milk is transformed into powder that can last for months without a fridge. Now here's something to think about. If we can turn liquid milk into powder so easily, what other foods can we turn into powder just like milk? Drop your guesses and takes in the comments section below.